What's up, everyone? Uh, this is Aaron with Theater Junkies, here with my brother Jeremy and Josh. Uh, have you ever looked up online for a new movie, Look, you know, watch the trailer, and it's nothing like the movie? Well, we go to the theater for you so you don't have to, <laughs> have to go through that ever again. So we actually give you insight into the movie without giving too many spoilers, sometimes none. So that's a good thing. We'll tell you whether or not it's uh, worthy for the theaters, or you should just watch it until it comes out on streaming services. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Argyle. Right, this one, I'm sorry, I should have had my stuff up, but I didn't. Uh, Argyle is a reclusive author who writes espionage novels about a secret agent and a global spy syndicate. Realizing the plot of the new book she's written starts to mirror real-world events in real time. This uh, is written or directed by Matthew Vaughn. Writer is Jason Fuchs. Stars Henry Cavill, Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell, and Brian, Brian Cranston. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're just going to start it off. With with that, we're we're gonna just talk about it. I I don't know who wants to talk first. Man, you uh, forgot. Catherine I really don't even know where to start with this movie, so I want to hear your guys's input on it before I even say anything, yeah. because I think I'm gonna have a differing opinion from both of you. Okay, so, so uh, first I want to point out we also had Catherine O'Hara in this movie. Uh, John Cena. I actually can it. barely hear you for some reason. Okay, that's interesting because I can hear myself pretty. Let me see. All right. Well, if it works, I don't know. It sounds like it's in and out or whatever, but uh, like it's floating, but whatever. Well, um, so um, John Cena, like I said, Catherine O'Hara and Dua Lipa made a, uh, I'm just going to say a short appearance in the movie yeah was, if you watch the oh, if you watch the trailer, trailer yeah you know, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like if you watch the trailer like the first five seconds of the trailer you know who do do a leap as yeah. character is. and lastly essentially samuel l jackson was in the movie which uh, yeah that's true. yeah i was just going over the four main i i major know parts of it i mean there's a a bunch of other people but yeah there's a lot of people in this movie yeah. well it's funny based on what you said i'll go ahead and go first um one thing i think is funny is i think this is this the third movie in a row now that we've watched that is that an apple, apple original yeah yes yeah. yes it has been so it's that oh, which one was the first one that we watched well, napoleon so was, was the last one and I think the one well, well I knew Napoleon yeah I'm pretty sure the one we watched before that was an Apple film uh I I actually don't it was a little while ago that we did our that was the first uh theater junkies we did right we've only this is the third episode of theater junkies yeah but we've done sure. well I thought we did for the Marvels too yeah the Marvels was so great. at least oh, the second great. at least the second one that we it might only be that, two that, Apple that, originals uh, and not I three know Napoleon but in this one where when we went to theaters and yeah it was Apple Productions so so um but but yeah that was a big piece that I noticed I'm like okay this is another Apple uh, original film, um, uh, with universal, but, um, but I, I enjoyed the movie a lot. Um, I can tell you that I was calling from my perspective, I was telling Aiden what was going to happen though. It was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that was one thing that I had figured out who was who and what, what was going on pretty early. So he's mm-hmm. looking at me near the end going, how did you, I said, well, <laughs> but well, when you watch really, so many really movies as we do, kid, man, why don't you do that? <laughs> well, it, it really wasn't that. I was we we kind of <laughs> had the same thoughts, but I just got to him a little sooner than he did. But mm-hmm. um, but I enjoyed it a lot, uh, quite a bit. I would say that you probably didn't, based on what you had said earlier. Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. Um, Henry Cavill was f- interesting in it. I can tell you that, and both in 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 the movie. And I know it was because of the concept of it, but <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's my son in the yeah. background. He's in another room yes. playing a game, and you can hear him. Um, yeah. So hopefully, sensitive I can, mics. Yeah, ho- I know. That's what I'm saying. It, the <laughs> doors shut. Sh- yeah, the yeah, the doors shut, and and yeah, there's a wall in between here and the the loft. But um, all right. So what you're seeing is it was entertaining but predictable in moments. Yeah, yeah. And Henry Cavill was probably not what you were expecting him to be. Correct. Okay. Um, what about you, Josh? Uh, to me, it was predictable, but then it was like you could sense what they were trying to do in the movie, but I still enjoy You could tell that the dude that did Kingsman did this movie, though. Like, especially in the action really? scenes so? and stuff like that. Yeah, I could tell. Like, because he has a certain type of... Like, especially if you watch Kingsman and then to this, like, the way that he films action scenes, he kind of, like, you could tell that he was the, uh, he helped him do the movie. Oh. It was because the the stylized fighting, like, how how he cuts with the cameras whenever the, uh, when they're, how he's filming the fight scenes, like, how it kind of seems like a, uh, it pans in and then goes away like during certain parts of the fight and stuff like that, especially near one of the scenes later on in the movie. I would like, say the thematic uh, definitely elements felt like are it. Kingsman-ish. Like the coloring yeah. and stuff. Like, And it's more related to like, like let's just say the when she wrote the book, the way the book styling looked is Kingsman-ish. Yeah, if that makes sense, which, like I said, you know, from that standpoint, the cut, the you know, the the um, the font styling of the the trailer and the just the overall um, that part of the movie. I wouldn't say the movie itself would be Kingsmanish, from my opinion, but um, uh, well, I mean, well, I wasn't saying espionage, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, that's what you're having to do with spies. Yeah, but well, especially at one part, and like, did you guys wait until the end credits? Like, did you yeah, stay I watched, like yeah. for a mm-hmm. bit? Oh, and no, then there know. was a, and there was an ending scene. Like, uh, I didn't realize until after I was leaving, don't, and I thought, uh, no, I'm not going to yeah, spoil yeah. it. Uh, I thought what it seemed like that they were kind of. T- uh, doing something with it but then it turns out that it was totally something different it seemed like they might be setting it up for like i guess if it does well enough that they could make another movie out of it maybe but like at the time i thought it wouldn't you think that based on the last thing that's said well uh, well uh, i'm not gonna get it's hard to explain without and talking about spoilers for it, well, like the way that I mean well, about you're it. Saying no. After the credits roll, there's a scene. Yeah, I, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, there's a scene. But even if you don't watch that, if you just the last person to say the last line, mm-hmm. you couldn't tell there was going to be a second one if they made him enough money. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. And if I mean, they I mean, thought on, that man. it would made them enough money, they would make a sequel anyway. I mean, that's why yeah, they had they, a, they left at least three sequels of Kingsman <laughs> for a sequel. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. There's also something else that kind of tied where they kind of, I don't know, made it a swerve. I guess I don't know. It's hard to describe, like, without saying. Of what the scene exactly was. One other thing is, I, okay. One other thing I wanted to say though, Sam Rockwell was awesome in the movie. Sam Rockwell's uh, always good, but he was, me, he was my, movie he was my I, favorite part right, of the movie. So, so since, since you guys said your piece, I'm going to go ahead and say mine. Mm-hmm. I thought it was corny as all get out, but I understand why because it's novel-esque so it's kind of it leads down that corny route and I I feel like they tried to get out of it halfway through the movie probably into I don't want to give any spoilers away but they tried to get out of it as soon as Sam Rockwell came into the picture 
it felt like it was in this uh, mm -hmm. fantasy for for a duration of time, and then once the real came in when his character arrived. So, and he he was the breath of fresh air that the movie needed, in my opinion. But then later on, you find things out, and then you're like, oh, snap. Mm -hmm. That makes sense why it was that way. But it went back down that road to me. Oh, yeah. And, I, and it got <coughs> like corny as shit. Yeah. yeah. And I know. So yeah. I was, like, I was like, I don't know if it's just the writing or if it's this or that or if it's just if it's the way that it's being portrayed through Bryce Dallas Howard, I don't, I, I don't know, but that, that was a harsh reality well, for me. But I, it, yeah. And I, Rockwell uh, was a, he, he's played that role before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't his first time being that character, but in a different, with a different name. Yeah. I, I forget what the movie was. It was with... Uh, Wasn't it Charlie's Angels or one of the Charlie's Angels movies? Charlie's Angels, yeah. He oh. was similar to that, too, but he was... There's the also movie. another one, too, but there's one where, where he plays he's... like a hitman. Yeah, he plays a hitman. I can't remember the name of the movie, though. What... He's the exact same guy, though. Yeah. So it, it's like he's being typecast as this espionage, like, can fight and do all these things. I don't know if it's a typecast thing or... He's just, I don't he's know. Like I've seen him be well. Yeah, I've seen him do like other ones. Like I think the last one that was kind of different was the Three Billboards movie. It's like Three Billboards outside of something Missouri or something was the last uh, movie that I knew that he did, and he plays this like a a bad cop or something. I have never watched the movie. I've seen bits and pieces. Uh, of like stuff from the trailer or whatever but like it's totally different from this character in this movie but like i well, get I'm what not, you mean though that he yeah you're just really saying that role. yeah they know that he's like, the same he's type playing thing, it's it's a typecast he's playing the exact same guy that he played in the, the other movie I Not guess he's just been in a lot of other just, stuff that i've seen yeah he's that, been in I mean, a lot yeah i love him in a lot of stuff yeah. that he's done so I'm I'm not saying he's he was bad at it or anything like that. He to me he saved the damn movie. Oh yeah. And yeah, I think he was far, one of the better parts out of the movie. Yeah. yeah. I could tell you the one part that you're probably referring to the most is I even kind of mentioned it in the theater was there's a part relating to gas. And uh, that's all I'm gonna give away is them throwing tear gas like a colored gas. Oh no, even before then. Where yeah, they should then too. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe, I get that. Maybe not. Corny's not the word. All right, it was corny, and then it became cliche because it was it. But the cliche is that it was predictable. Mm -hmm. But how many times can you tell the story of? I've said this in the in the uh, horror podcast. It, it's like we've watched so many movies. It's like how do you how do you make something new when it's been done millions or thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like the the last like thriller movie that I was even thrown off by last was probably Memento. Mm -hmm. That's not really even a suspense. Well, I guess it's a suspense. But it's rolling backwards. Oh, yeah. Out later, at the very end of the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, but this one, it was... Yeah, and I don't know if it was meant to be like uh, played in that realm either. I mean, it's kind of like what no, you were I saying. I don't think it was. Yeah, so I mean, it was it it was still an interesting story, mm -hmm. regardless. I'm not saying there wasn't a plot twist in there that I I didn't see coming. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the like, all right. One of the uh, one of the other movies that I remember that. It kind of reminds me of this one that I thought of when I was watching it was the, I think it was called American Ultra, where uh, oh, it has know. Kristen Stewart and mm -hmm. uh, what's his name, Jesse Eisenberg or whatever, yeah. where he plays as like a dude that was under uh, the, uh, what's it called? I forgot what, an indoctrination or MK Ultra what, type stuff. Yeah, it's like where they kind of like, uh, hypnotize you into stuff where they said a certain phrase and then he turned into a killer type thing. 
That's the that's the only movie that I was thinking that of. Was that a spoiler, was spoiler. Oh, <laughs> well, not I'm for American Ultra. That's been out for I don't know, like seven well, years or said, something. You but. said it reminded you of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's pretty specific, I wasn't there. No, I was just thinking because of the. I wasn't meaning in that as like to come across like a spoiler for the movie, but I was just saying because spies and stuff like that. <clears throat> but never mind. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> no, I, it's it's hard not to not to give spoilers away. Yeah, I didn't realize you, know, you the, didn't do it intentionally. You, it was Matthew you know. Vaughn. I didn't realize he co-created a comic book series of the Kingsman, though. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm not. Su- I'm not surprised though. Um, but, and then I, I I forgot he uh, made uh, Kick Ass and X Men First Class. Yeah. That that was the one that I was thinking of was Kick Ass, and then I was like, oh, "But crap, now that I've watched, you know, you're talking. Days of it's funny Cat. when I look at some of these other ones, though. It makes kind of sense, like the way these movies go, because he made Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels back in 1998, and he made Snatch in 2000. Oh yeah, and Snatch is so good. Yeah. I, I love watching that movie. I haven't seen it in a while, but it's such a good movie. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, but I mean, out, out of the kingsman in this like if the kingsman ever comes out it, of course we don't have like television it's going to be i don't have hbo to where it's playing reruns or something normally i would say whenever it's on i would watch it like kingsman i can do that with that movie mm-hmm. yeah this one nah bro once was enough yeah i don't think i'll have to yeah. watch yeah. it again I i'm not saying that watch yeah again. not saying i'll have to watch it but was i entertained and, watching it yeah i mean that's yes. so um, I was entertained for the shit. What well, was the runtime on this one? It was like in it's like two hours or something. Two hours and forty minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it, uh, it was one hundred and thirty nine minutes, four. so it was two hours and nineteen minutes. Yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was very surprised by that. Well, what I was surprised by was I don't know if, well let me tell you guys you guys live in a smaller city than I do, so it's kind of probably not a great comparison, but how many people were in the theater? Yeah, there was uh, like people five there. people were there yeah like there were yeah, about I, uh, I, I went to the twelve ten showing so it was a matinee so okay. you you get a gist of the demographic that went in there yeah it was older generation yeah I well that's was, all i saw in the youngest and I was, yeah, i'm 37 yeah that's what i saw in mine it was older an older demographic going to this movie but it was not very many people. And I don't know, like I said, I think yeah. the whole streaming thing is changing a lot of like theater oh, of stuff. Yeah. Um, because every movie we've went to since COVID, there hasn't been a full house, even for like the best yeah. uh, considered movies coming out. Hell, even before that, when was the last one you went to something and it was a full house? I think Infinity War was the last one. Well, the the Marvel and, movies and were, Infinity yeah. Infinity War I mean, and most Endgame, of them. Yeah. Who's waiting in lines for big blockbuster movies anymore? Yeah, like, I new, I don't think I've had to wait in line. Yeah. yeah. In years. So they're outside. Not like I remember I did when I went and saw Batman back in 1989. I remember at Movies 8 yeah. in Palmdale yeah. being wrapped around the building waiting to get in that in jurassic park probably too i remember waiting outside for jurassic park i don't don't remember waiting outside for that i just remember i i I remember like either that or we were hanging outside after the movie or something but i remember being outside like around the time when the movie was happening so i can't remember if i was in line or not well, I remember that we were talking about. I mean, we watched Jurassic Park like ten times too. What? I think when in did theaters. You go watch yeah, Jurassic Park ten times. We well, that's what I'm saying. We, we, didn't didn't watch watch we, we watched ten times. We watched well, it once I'm, in theaters I'm, all together. No, we watched it several times. If you talk to Dad, I'm like right, I don't I'm remember ta- exactly Dad, how I many. Call but, him right yeah, now. I want to be specific <laughs> on it. All right, but, all right, all right. Let's be specific. <laughs> That's and he'll be like, I don't, I don't even fucking right remember now. this shit. <laughs> it would be funny if he's like, I don't, I don't even know if he remembers that because I don't I remember. That, well, that's what I'm saying. I thought that was uh, that in Star no, Trek no, Generation. Because no, this will decide a lot of things. Week. I know me and Josh have debates on what happens in life, and I know one way, and then he tells me another, and I'm like, 
my well, memory's I mean, bad. Yeah. So we'll 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 find out right now. Well, <laughs> I'm sure my memory's bad. Hey, pops, hey, Pop. you're on the podcast right now, so uh, oh, okay. we got a question for you. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. All right, all right, all right. So, how many times did we go to the theater and watch Jurassic Park? How many times did we go to the theater where? Just any to movie watch theater and the watch movie. Jurassic Park. <laughs> the movie theater like, at least once. I don't remember. At least once. So we went multiple times? Well, I'm just saying I know of at least once we went. That we went. I don't know that we went to go see it again in a the theater. We seen it we saw it at home again. At home, I don't remember. Oh I don't yeah, remember going. We had VHS. Going that was yeah, one of the movies that you bought on VHS. Uh, yeah, I, and we well, watched that. It, it may have been v, VHS. I'm not sure if it was VHS. That was that was '96. Was it '96? Nice? That was '96. That was VHS yeah. all day, baby. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all right. So yeah, you're really you're gonna really agree really that really at least really once, really but you're almost certain pretty, it was just once as a fan. Yeah, I would. Have, yeah, as a family. All right, cool. Yeah. You decided it for me. Thanks, Pops. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I was wrong. I thought. Yeah. I, well, I well, swear, I thought it, we watched we got, it more than we once. Have four boys. Yeah. Or uh, mom and dad have four boys. You think we're going to the movie theater like multiple times? Well, that's what I'm saying. I remember I, being I, freaked I, the I, hell I, out yeah. during Jurassic Park. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to go to a well. Elaine there. talks about that all the time, right? That she met you when you were nine. Yeah, we lived in Florida when you were nine. Here in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So it's like when we saw Jurassic Park, you were way younger than that. Oh, by the way, I met every single one of Jim, Jeremy's girlfriends that want to steal them all. When I was like seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do ASMR up in this bitch. It's like, but, except for Elaine. Yeah. I mean, Elaine is, is like a sister. Yeah. Um, Not like a sister. She is. Yeah, I was just going to say. My whole entire damn life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to this movie. Sorry, sorry Josh, you lose. My yeah. memory's better than yours. Well, like, whatever. Suck. I mean, yeah. suck it. One, thing, one other hey, thing I wanted to point it. out is hey. Sam Rockwell's yeah, character whatever. was named Aiden. And at first, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at first, when he said his last oh. name, we were thinking, "Are they going to say his name is Wiley?" And because because at first we heard it, and then we found out it was a um, spoiler. His last name is Wild, so I'll just give that away. So Aiden was hoping that it was a variation of his name in the movie <laughs> at first, but uh, anyways, but that's the only other thing I wanted to point out um, in terms of that. Um, I know. Right, so, so here, here's the ultimate question: Would you suggest anyone going to see this in theaters? If, if they, I mean, that's a hard question to ask, man. We do it every single podcast, but it's a hard question to say. So, so Jeremy, I'll start with you. Um, yeah, it's hard to say with this one because of the simple fact that I saw it. As we mentioned at the beginning, it's an Apple original, so you know. Probably in about a month. It's going to be on streaming. It's going to yeah. be on Apple TV because Napoleon did the same thing. Now, mm -hmm. in the grand scope, like when we talked about Napoleon, this movie, I think you can wait till streaming, unfortunately. Just because it's not, it doesn't need to be one in a grand scope that you need to see on a huge screen. I think Napoleon was one that you needed to see on a big theater screen. Oh, yeah. That, that was perfect. Uh, yeah. This movie, you can watch on a 65-inch TV in your living room and get the mm -hmm. same gist out of it that you would going to the theater and watching it. Microwaving some, some yeah. popcorn and drinks. Yeah, microwaving just some and just yeah. grabbing a... Microwave some yeah. popcorn and, and sit on your couch, enjoy it. On the, on the corny parts, kiss your wife. Yeah, I mean, would I say it's going to be an enjoyable movie? I still say, yeah, it would be. There, there are corny parts. I would agree with that with what um aiden had mentioned but um i still enjoyed the movie i won't be surprised <laughs> yeah. if there's sequels but <laughs> but i was actually kind of this dude just texted me and said jurassic park came out in 93 shut up dad 
Okay. <laughs> 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 Gotta be right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. The budget for this movie was two hundred million, though. I was like, "Woo!" I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. So it made thirty-five yeah, point three in its first one. CGI so in parts, bad, man. Yeah, because the CGI in parts. Oh, not in parts. Almost every. Every action part that Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard was in mm-hmm. it was CGI. Oh yeah, you yeah. you could, you could tell which ones were. That was the worst part. I could say is I, I will say that that won't give any spoilers away. But the CGI was very noticeable in this. Oh yeah, like you could tell where they used I it. See what they kept. Like, well, even not even the very beginning scene, you could tell how much they used. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It was like almost that entire thing you could say was fake uh, and that's yeah, where i mean i kind of do it at all yeah i mean oh so, i mean I, but the only reason why i kind of forgave that at the beginning scene was because how they were setting up the the author part was that i'm like that's not really oh, so yeah. much of a spoiler because you've seen that in the trailer but like so I kind of forgave that part, but yeah, like when they did that throughout the rest of the film. I was just saying you like, could make, you could tell that it was high, heavy yeah. CGI. Not mm-hmm. not Avatar level, but they used a lot, and you could just tell. Mm-hmm. So it was, that, that, I wouldn't be surprised if that entire first uh, scene was all shot in a green screen room. Mm-hmm. Or what is it? Yeah. Green room or whatever. Well, I mean, so. you know, that's the thing. A lot of the cost comes from it's, a, but you know, without giving spoilers, yeah. you can't talk about every single, like we did. And that's what we're talking about. The very first podcast, I think we did, we talked about the entire movie and we gave the entire movie away. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'm <laughs> yeah. excited. So but that was a learning experience. Yeah. We won't do that again. Yep. So you know, here and there, there's nothing you can do about it when you're trying to explain something. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what about you, Josh? I, I mean, I think you're going to say the same thing. I don't know. Sometimes I really would just want somebody to actually watch it in theaters. But like, yeah, I agree. Does it really need? It? Like, you could just wait. Because what was it? The the Flowers of the Killing Moon, I think, was the other Apple original that was around the same time, same with Napoleon, but that came out like 30 or so days after it was released in theater. So if you have Apple TV, might as well just wait until it comes out on streaming and just watch it at home. Like, that way you could pause it if you needed to or whatever. But <clears throat> uh, Yeah, mine, mine is definitely the same. There, I don't think it is necessary to go watch. Yeah, and one other thing I do want to say, and I mentioned it before the podcast started, was there is a catchy song from the movie. <laughs> it's called Electric Energy. Check it out on Apple Music or Spotify or whatever you guys use for your your music. But if you like, if it. not, just check it out. You may not like the song, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. But I like the song enough. That but I know my like my son the really liked the song. He's been playing it like consistently since we saw the movie last night. But I think it's uh, Ariana Debose, who's who was in the movie. She's one of the singers. Boy George sang on it. And I think um, it's uh, um, do, is it like I don't know if uh, I said Ashley her name. Right. It's probably Dubois. Like I think that's how, how the lady from. Uh, AEW says her okay, name. Well, I think I, I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Saying. I know she's she's from. Uh, what the hell's the movie? I'm trying to remember the movie she was in that I remember her from. But um, why is my mouse not working right? What the hell's my? Oh, there it is. Why is your mouse not working? Right? Um, where is it? It was like last year. Oh, you're oh. talking about the girl that played Kira. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she voiced okay. the lead role in Wish, but there's a movie I remember watching that she um, she okay. was in. I know she she was one of the originals in Hamilton. Why am I not finding the one I remember seeing her in? Oh well. Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's I where remember I remember. She was on So You Think You Can Dance back in 2009. That's where Jeez. I. Re- that's that where I remember. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
Um, the show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. I haven't heard that in a long time. Yeah. But, uh, so you think yeah. you can dance. But yeah, she's one of the singers on, on that song. But it's a very catchy one. It's disco-ish, I would say. But I'll check it out. If no one else does. Yeah. But... But other than that, I don't have anything else in relation to the movie. What is the next one? Well, do yeah. we even know what we're going to talk about well, on the we next one? Chosen. Here? That's why, actually, while I was looking on my phone, I, I was thinking about it. And the next thing that I think I want to do uh, is is definitely Dune. Oh, yeah. That yeah. comes out in March. Oh, first. yeah. Dude. But the only thing is, is I will actually be out of country. I'm going to be in Brazil at that time. Oh, that's so, right. I won't be able to do. You guys can still do that one if you want. It won't be in Brazilian theaters. They usually take a couple of weeks until it actually hits there. Otherwise, I would watch it and and do the podcast from there. Um, but from the unfortunate thing about this podcast compared to the Screen Creeps podcast, we actually have a, a, a set amount of things that we can do, or we uh, we actually have a lineup. This one, we're not really looking at dates or anything like that. So if something interesting comes up, then we then we just do it. Kind of, so it's a little more spontaneous, uh, but hopefully we can get it more on a consistent schedule here coming up. Um, I would like that. But it might be a two a month episode. I mean, yeah, us spending our time, uh, as you as you know, Jeremy has a wife, family. Uh, me and Josh have a little bit more time, but having three people uh, train, hit the theaters at separate times, and then put put it together for a podcast, it's a little more difficult to do on a weekly basis when we have to literally go somewhere and uh, do it. Anyway, I'm not making excuses. We we can get it done, but. It's just a little more difficult trying to schedule everything out. So we'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, the um, only other one would be Madam Web, which has been like oh, critically yeah, Madam banned. Web comes out. That's, yeah. that's mid March, though, I think. No, it's next week. I was like, no. It's, oh, it's February. Yeah. Why does it have March? Yeah. For... All right, that's weird. All right. So and the... and next, next month, in like, uh, yeah, I think so the I, 23rd, I, use okay. I don't know if you guys use the oh, Flickster app or anything. That's probably why. Like that. Okay. No. <laughs> anyway, I use Flickster app, and it has Dune on March first, before it has anything in February. It must be sponsored. But yeah, no, I would definitely. Oh, that was another thing. Uh, during the trailer of this movie, I saw the One Love trailer, mm -hmm. and I have been really enjoying the biopics. Is that the Bob Marley? Oh, movie? Bob That's Marley, yeah. Bob Marley. Yeah. yeah, and I I would really like to to watch that one as well. So mm -hmm. Madam Web and possibly uh, One Love. Okay. So that that's a little bit different than what we normally do because we we always hit the Marvel stuff. We're as you as you know, uh, this is the Heart of Geek Network. So we do a lot of nerdy nerdy stuff, and uh, we like to keep it that way. But we like to. Uh, get some different different stuff in here sometimes not sometimes all the time we just like everything yeah we do it all we just want to bring it to you guys yep. give you some content to to enjoy thoroughly um also uh i will i'm i'm trying to figure out how to work it right now uh no i've got it all set up right now. i'm going to be streaming uh my pc build here it'll probably be tuesday night I know we have a podcast that night with uh, Joe. So yeah, for our I don't know how it's going to work. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to We're talking about we'll Predator 2. Graveyard. We'll be talking about Predator 2. But uh, I'll be streaming that. Maybe I'll do the podcast and be building this PC at the same exact time. So I can definitely mess this podcast up for you guys. <laughs> it would be <laughs> uh, but. Uh, probably be editing that down into a video for you guys as well just to get you a little bit well, since we've been streaming a lot more uh video games lately uh we're going to try and diversify that platform for you guys um anyway from all of us at the heart of geek like i said i'm aaron this is josh and jeremy uh this is arrow too if you can you come here buddy come on up say hi this is this is arrow the big puppers 
All right. Um, <laughs> and now he's like, I got a little liquor face. Yeah, there we go. I got a little liquor um, face. Yeah, we're just a big old family here, just trying to make stuff for you guys. Love you. All right, love you. Bye. All right. Peace out, guys.